Hi, welcome to my channel. How are you doing from whichever part of the world you'll be watching this video from? I hope you are doing okay. So in this video, you and I together will learn how do we know if we are suffering from diabetes mellitus or what are those symptoms that could help us understand if we are actually suffering from diabetes mellitus. And diabetes mellitus is a very common disease or a disorder, most especially in African countries. So my name is Dr. Luben. I make this kind of videos based on health. I also give some medical advice and some financial lessons. So every single video I make, there's a playlist and in each of those playlists, any video that interests you at all, you can go there, check those videos. And you don't have to watch all of my videos, but you can check the playlist that interest you and then make sure you hook it up and then start watching my videos. So let's go straight into the video. So for, for those people who don't actually know what diabetes mellitus is, what exactly is diabetes mellitus? The simplest way of explaining diabetes mellitus is a disease or a disorder, a metabolic disorder in the sense that when there's too much glucose in the body but then there's not enough insulin, either in insufficiency in insulin or insulin resistance. Now insulin is one of the hormones that helps a lot in the body when it comes to metabolism of glucose. So if that hormone produced by the pancreas, which is insulin, is lacking in the body, or maybe the receptors that bind to this insulin are, are not enough in the body, so it means the glucose will not be able to be metabolized. So because of that, it will increase, it will be so much in the system that the body might not be able to use it because the hormone which helps in its metabolism is either insufficient or it's there but the receptors are not you know sufficient enough so this could comprise a lot of complications and is very deadly too and can result to death so how do you know if you are suffering from diabetes and then there is diabetes type 1 and diabetes type 2 i'm going to focus more on diabetes type 2 because that one affects you know people let's say 35 30 to 35 and both you know and then type 1 affects mostly young people but type 1 is, is rare, you don't get to see that often, but type 2 is very common because it affects 30 to 35 above that people that suffer more from diabetes type 2. So there are actually four symptoms that I'm going to talk about. And these four symptoms are very, very cardinal when it comes to diabetes mellitus. The first symptom on the list is polyuria. Polyuria just has to do with a situation whereby you are producing excess amount of urine more than normal so let's say in a day a, a normal human being and a normal adult for instance should produce not less than 500 mils of urine right and then you are producing more than 500 maybe you are producing 1000 in a day or more than 1000 or 2000 mils of urine in a day that's polyuria and then you could ask why polyuria what, what is, how is it possible like what causes polyuria in diabetes mellitus now, the reason being that whenever the blood sugar rises, normally the threshold for glucose excretion also increases. So the glucose rushes to the kidney. Now, for the kidneys, there's a mechanism which helps in reabsorption of glucose and salt and all this fluid back into the blood. But because that glucose that is in the blood is not being digested, there's no enough insulin or insulin resistance that is making it impossible for the glucose to be digested or basically, let me not even say use digest, to be metabolized. So because of that, it's still lodged back into the kidney and because of that, the kidney is producing more fluid and more, producing more urine and more of this urine because it wants to excrete out this glucose. It, it, the body is trying to tell you or let's say the body reasons that maybe this glucose is becoming too much. So let me try to give it out. Now, you could say where well, there are other pathways in the body that convert glucose but it does not go into those pathways because insulin, remember insulin is insufficient or there is no resistance to insulin. So because of that, it becomes difficult for this glucose to be utilized. So in the kidneys, the kidney is trying to excrete them out and because of that, more urine is being formed. And the more urine is being formed, the more the person is losing out fluid. The second one is polydipsia. Now, these are uh, clinical terms, but I'll try to break it down. Polydipsia is just excessive taste and ingestion of water what that means is remember as more glucose is being lost through the body or as more fluid is being lost into the body the hypothalamus is a part of the brain known as the hypothalamus that controls the hormonal 
balance on the body. The hypothalamus is the one that actually controls them. So the body will send a signal to the hypothalamus telling us, see you, I don't have enough fluid in my body. So how do I combat that? Now, naturally, what would the body do? It will increase pace because it wants you to drink water so as to balance the fluid that has been lost. If you've lost 500 or 1000 mils of fluid from your body, the body automatically wants to replenish back that fluid, wants to compensate, try to balance off that fluid that has been lost. So because of that, the taste increases and you want to drink in warm water. But remember, the more you are drinking the water, the more the water is passing out through the urine and more glucose is being passed out because the glucose is not being used. The glucose is high in your blood and it's concentrated. So remember, whenever there is a high solute placed in the, in the solution, what happens if you try to absorb water? So there is more glucose in your blood, it means it's going to absorb water. So the more it's absorbing water, the more your taste increases and the more you want to drink water. And the more you are drinking the water, the more it's being passed out through your urine, that's polyuria. So it's a chain reaction from polyuria to polydipsia. The third symptom is polyphagia. Now you might still be wondering, what is it that is polyphagia? Now in this scenario, polyphagia, what usually happens is, the person begins to, you know, feel hungry. You feel hungry, you want to eat. Why? Remember that the glucose that is being metabolized into your body has to go into so many channels, maybe your muscles, for instance, your brain, so many other areas to derive energy. But because the glucose is not being used, the body automatically feels hungry. The body feels as if there is no food. You know, you start feeling as if, well, there is no glucose that is being utilized to produce energy. So, I feel hungry. Remember, more fluid is being lost through the kidneys. Now, remember that you are losing a lot of fluid out from through urine. And then this same process is causing you to feel hungry in the sense that the glucose is not being utilized by the cells. So, the glucose still keep increasing in the blood, but then they are not being used. And then the, the cells or the, the tissues that require this food, this glucose, are starving. So because of that, it's the same reflex that happens when it comes to test that I just explained. So the same thing will happen and it will make you want to eat more because the body is trying to make you feel as if there is no food in your body. Now the fourth one, which is also very important, is weight loss. Unexplained weight loss. Now the reason why I say unexplained, why? You are drinking water, you are eating food. But at the same time, you are losing weight. Why? Because the food that you eat, let's say you eat a carbohydrate, a food rich in carbohydrate, it will go into your system quite all right. But the body cannot use that glucose. Why? Because there is no enough insulin or there is insulin resistance. It means insulin that is supposed to help with metabolism of that glucose is not there. So no matter how you want to eat food, what happens? It will still not work and you are passing a lot of fluid out of your system that reduces the blood volume whenever blood volume reduces you are most likely to also feel as if you lost weight you know weight loss now you could say the cells for instance that require glucose for their energy production because there's not enough glucose they try to burn fat you know there are fat deposits in your body and because of that they try to burn this fat and other you know, carbohydrate precursors in other parts to produce energy. The more that is happening, the more you lose fat and the more you, you know, the more you lose weight. So it's like from polyuria to polydipsia to polyphasia to weight loss. So if you experience this thing simultaneously at the same time, please know very well that that's most likely in every single case, you know, that I present to the clinic with these symptoms definitely leads to diabetes mellitus. So you could ask, okay, what do I do when I face something like this? I'm not going to give you a treatment or a management through this video about diabetes mellitus. Uh, what I will try to tell you is to actually go to the hospital right now. If you're watching the video and you have any of these symptoms, if it is too late for you to go to the hospital, I bet tomorrow, try as much as possible to go to the clinic. Maybe you might say, well, I don't have enough money. I'm actually broke. I can't go to the clinic because I don't have money. Well, that's understood, but please, know that it's very alarming because I don't want to start talking about the complications of diabetic mellitus. I'm going to make a video on preventions of diabetic mellitus. What are those habits that you should try to avoid or what's the kind of lifestyle you should have that will kind of prevent you from having diabetes mellitus. I'm going to make a video on that and the link will be in the description below. So 
thank you so much for watching if there's anything else i left out of the video that you and i or you noticed that i did not notice please leave that in the comment section i'll be so happy and glad to see it. if there's anything you want to tell me privately without saying it publicly please my email is in the description go and send me a direct message privately you can support me by subscribing to the channel also turn on the notification bell why because videos like this takes a lot of time and research for me to do in order to produce the best you know possible piece for you so once more my name is dr luben i'm happy to have you here see you in another video